Effective Tuesday at 12.01 a.m., Nevada will be operating under a statewide pause. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Hey guys, it's Ruby back again with another Vegas update video. Today, I want to go over some new restrictions and closures, as well as some exciting things for the future with new openings and new hotels. If you like these update videos, please go ahead and give this video a like. And if you are not a subscriber, if you could go ahead and click that little subscribe button, that would really help out my channel so that you can be notified for more Vegas updates in the future. If you are not a follower on Instagram, you can go ahead and follow me there. I do like to see your guys' DMs. You can ask me questions, leave me a comment. It's really cool to talk to you guys. Okay, so let's start with some of the bad news first. The governor has announced a pause on Las Vegas. This started on Tuesday and is going to be going for approximately three weeks, they said. So that's going to be around mid-December that this is going to continue going until... The Nevada Gaming Control will be enforcing these restrictions and these restrictions apply to casinos, bars, restaurants, and more. So for restaurants, reservations are now required for any in-person dining except for fast food and food courts. You cannot walk into a sit-down restaurant and be seated. You must call beforehand to be sure that they have a table ready for you. So that is a really big change that you guys should know about if you are going to be going there soon. Capacity will be reduced from 50 down to 25%. And no more than four people can be at a table. So you have to make your reservations and you have to be only a group of four. This is down from six previously that it has been for a while now. And even less capacity at restaurants. All right, private gatherings, no more than 10 people can attend. No more than two households can participate in private gatherings. Okay, so for public gatherings, capacity is reduced to 50 people or 25% of the fire code capacity, whichever is smaller, it says. But as far as we're understanding, casinos are just going to be doing 25% capacity. I have no idea how they're going to enforce this. I am not sure how that's going to be enforced or if it's really going to be enforced in the casinos because it seems like a lot of these restrictions, casinos seem to get a lot more leeway than the rest. So we'll have to see how that plays out. Leave a comment below if you guys are in Vegas and how they're doing this with the casinos because I'm really curious how anybody's enforcing that. Uh, shows are on hold once again. If you had a reservation uh, coming in the next three weeks, it says we just looked at Carrot Top at the Luxor and it says they won't be running shows until December 17th. So they had to wait until the pause was over because of the amount of tickets that they could sell and trying to social distance. So basically the hope is that this these extra restrictions are going to be done by mid-December in time for the holidays or for New Year's Eve depending on how things are going. Masks, they've kind of reinforced masks. I don't really see how this is any different, but it says you're required to have them on anytime you are not around anybody from your immediate household, including and during private gatherings inside and outside. As far as on the strip, it really doesn't change much. You were required to wear a mask everywhere you went anyway. They did say that you now have to keep your mask on until you receive your beverages at your table. You cannot have it off until the water arrives, which a lot of the restaurants were doing anyway, and that they expect you to put it on after you finished, which I think most people were doing anyway. So some pretty intense restrictions, calling this a pause, just rolling things back. It, we'll see how it plays out coming forward with uh, more news that has come out and how cases have gone up. We'll see how this plays out and hopefully have better news in the January update for you guys. And some other news, starting November 30th, the Mirage and Mandalay Bay will accept no more reservations from Monday to Thursday. That joins Park MGM and Encore Las Vegas and Planet Hollywood in shortening their hours just due to decreased demand. So it's important you know that they're doing this because there are just so much fewer people coming to Las Vegas. Again, as I said in my previous update, this is starting to get to the slower season in Las Vegas. There are less tourists at this time. And with everything going on in 2020, it makes sense that they decided to further that. 
Delano, Las Vegas will remain open seven days a week. However, you guys know that I have recommended that place as one of my absolute favorite hotels on the Strip. As of right now, if Mandalay Bay is closed, I don't recommend staying at Delano because a lot of the appeal is all of the stuff that comes with it with Mandalay Bay. And it was kind of a bit of a ghost town earlier this year, and I can only imagine that it's probably a lot worse with things being closed i would recommend still staying more in center strip if you are going soon because it's going to feel like there are a little bit more people around rather than being at the total end of the strip with like nobody in sight all right let's talk about some future stuff and some more exciting news virgin hotel they are taking reservations for rooms starting january 15th however there have been some rumors circulating about a delay for its opening due to these restrictions and how things are going in these months coming ahead here. Originally, they were slated to open January 15th, but I think they're just kind of playing it by ear to see how the capacity restrictions go and how much of a full-scale opening they can have. The Virgin Hotel is on the place of the former Hard Rock Hotel, one of the favorite hotels of, of Las Vegas from people that I've talked to. And I don't know how many people have seen some of the new stuff that's going to come out, but it's looking really, really nice. This was a total resort overhaul. This wasn't just like a small rebranding. They did a lot to this hotel, specifically with the outdoor entertainment rehab pool party used to be held at the hard rock they have completely transformed that space into what they're calling the backyard which is just this huge outdoor bar and lounge area that they want people to go and relax in and they are going to be making a two-story day club here instead and they said they want it to rival some of the major day clubs and parties that are on the strip that is slated to open potentially in april and they are very excited about it they're saying there's going to be djs it's going to be edm heavy Uh, they want it to be something like edc or coachella they said so that's exciting news for those who are partiers and festival goers we're hoping to see more information on that as the hotel says they are going to open the downtown Las Vegas archway is officially lit. So this is kind of cool. Over by the stratosphere, they have opened this gorgeous arch. It has 13,000 individually programmed LEDs and it draws 61,000 watts of power. So for context, a hair dryer uses about 1,500 watts. So it's a very bright, very beautiful structure. You can drive underneath it. It's definitely a new photo spot for Las Vegas. I think that Vegas just kills it with these cool outdoor uh, spots and with all the bright lights. It's just very iconic in Vegas. I actually didn't realize how new this was. This looks like it's always been there because that's just how Las Vegas looks to me. So very cool, kind of a fun thing to check out if you're on the north end of the Strip. Speaking of the northern end of the Strip, Resorts World. I'm going to touch on this real briefly for you guys. Resorts World is opening. They're hoping in the summer of 2021. There is no official opening date. I think that's smart. They're just kind of playing it by ear right now. Resorts World is a $4.3 billion project, and they haven't really released a ton of information and until recently. The resort announced AU Day Club, which looks absolutely amazing. It has a Southeast Asian tropical island theme. I have never seen a theme like this at any of the day clubs in Vegas. It looks really luxurious and beautiful. Zook will be the name of the nightclub at Resorts World. It is supposed to be kind of that like the one in Singapore and Malaysia. It looks very interesting from the outside, very artsy. No huge news yet. We're going to have to see how that one plays out. It looks really interesting. And Fuhu will be the Chinese cuisine restaurant that they're going to be having. Fuhu means lucky tiger in Mandarin. And all the art and just the renderings that I'm seeing of what they're planning to do looks really gorgeous. Uh, They've been pretty mum on how things are going to go. So stay tuned in some future updates about Resorts World. We'll kind of keep you updated on how things are going there. But it looks very interesting and I can't wait to see it open uh sound off down below what you think of the name personally i think resorts world is a really weird name it sounds like a working title or something like they didn't know what to name the hotel i know it's a super super successful hotel chain and that they're all over the world i know that but it's just not my favorite name let me know below what you guys think of the name resorts world 
Okay, everyone, so those are the updates. Just a quick little update for you guys. Basically, as of the next three weeks, things are going to be a little bit more locked down again. Back in August, when they had the bar closures, we did find we had some kind of bummer moments on the trip, just with things being too difficult to do and capacity restrictions and tables and... Be very aware if you have an upcoming trip that you don't want to cancel that you have to call ahead for those restaurant reservations. I think that is the biggest thing to keep in mind. And be aware that there may be people counting at the door and not letting people into places if there are too many people inside. I'm not sure how likely that will be just with this being the slower season and being the end of 2020. I think a lot of people are kind of waiting it out to see what's going to happen next year. I hope that this was all helpful for you guys. Again, if you're not a subscriber and you liked this kind of content, you can go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Oh.